Okay, I just want to make a point that I've been attacked by supposedly physicists saying, oh, you can't see these things with a, a, a smartphone, and you absolutely can. This, is, this goes back seven years ago. Physicists turned smartphones into pocket cosmic ray detectors. Listen to this, right? This is right here. Smartphone cameras use silicon chips that work through what is called the photoelectric effect, photons causing electric conduction, in which particles of light, which are the photons, hit a silicon surface and release an electric charge. They just drive an electron. The same is true for muons. Now, the muons are these heavy particles, which they're looking for now. When a muon strikes a semiconductor that underpins a smartphone camera, it liberates an electric charge, creates a signature in pixels that can be logged, stored, and analyzed. And that's what we did. Now, that goes back seven years ago. Can you imagine what the capabilities now? And what I'm seeing now absolutely stuns me, and I have no way to even discuss it yet, but I'll show you a picture of it, but I'm not even going to make a discussion whatsoever. But it's fields, and it's it's showing the black and white pull of everything, the dark matter attached to everything, because there's nothing that doesn't have a d dark matter attached to it. Okay, a cosmic ray is simply a very high energy particle. That is exactly what you see here, a very high energy photon. And we created that because we crushed it in a venturi and squirted it out the other side and actually separated the black from the white. I will show you. Okay, shown this a million times. Red laser light pulsed, red laser light accelerated into a venturi. Out the other side of the Venturi are the Higgs fields. These are the particles right there that concuss and explode and divide at the Venturi when they are forced into here. Only the white particles are allowed through the black particles, which are what we would call the muons, I believe, at this point, are not allowed through. And here is the evidence to support that. This is exactly what CERN says should happen, and it does. And you have to tune the Venturi to a certain size that only allows the white to come through as showers and keeps the black from going through. I don't know whether the black is heavier or bigger, or the mass will not allow it, some form of the field effect, I don't know. But it, will, it comes back instantaneously. They, they will never be apart, uh, except when you use this uh, muon collider. I'm just going to leave it with this one for now. This is Higgs fields coming at us. That's what they look like when you can get right down and into the actual particles. And that's a bump coming at us. These are the leading bumps. We're showing light accelerating. We're showing all of the same things that I just talked about. And this is done with cell phones. You could do this at home if you have a cell phone. I will guide you through this at some point. Um, we're going to get into it, but one thing you want to be very, very careful of, if you're ever going to use lasers, keep them out of your eyes. They'll burn right through your lens like that. Uh, but we'll be able to see the Higgs fields, we'll be able to see light acceleration, we'll be able to see the particles separating, the black and white particle, we'll be able to see the photons, electrons, muons, neutrinos of every flavor. And actually we can see light accelerating itself by crushing its own field, creating a higher energy state. There is so much to learn here that it's just staggering. Okay, so the bottom line is we're going to start a new world forum on physics. And it'll be on all the different things that we were taught that I have found are not really reliable to, to just count on to accept. Let's discuss them, and that's what we're going to do. And this is a black hole in space. They created a black hole in space. And I sent that to Don Lincoln at Fermi Lab and to the Russians and everybody. And it's, it's quite obvious exactly what it is. So we're going to discuss these things. And, you know, people don't, don't like the discussion because it ups, upsets the apple cart, but apple carts, she's going to fall over.